What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all, and we back with another video from Offending Everybody. If I'm not mistaken, that's what the title is. The channel. Yeah, Offending Everybody, and we got How Trump Can Survive Prison. Now, hey, you already know. From the first time I reacted to Offending Everybody, which was How to Get Canceled, if you haven't go check it out it was basically on the doctor it was mostly about dr disrespect and his shit and his type of craziness and such but now he's shifting over to mr donald trump himself so hey with him and the pl and the, the fact that you got somebody like donald trump who it, who has a mo uh, who's arrested on charges and such he's about to go to prison and the fact that after an assassination attempt and such, <laughs> crazy that he would still run for president. <laughs> hey, all I can say is, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm voting for the nigga. I'm not even voting, period. Because, look, at the end of the day, I don't believe in all this politics and such. But one thing's for sure that when it comes to him, hey, when it comes to just speaking what's on your mind and having somewhat of a just saying what it is, he better than Kamala Harris, that's for damn sure. And y'all can agree to, but let's see how offending everybody gonna put his little spin on it. So we better check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me now, my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get into this. Convicted! Trump has been convicted on 34 felonies and has other cases pending. So here are 10 ways Trump can survive prison. Number one, plan your first day. Get to know the lay of the land. Who's in charge? How many whites there are? Who has the biggest horse cock? Remember, in prison, size matters. Next, you're gonna wanna mark your territory. <laughs> That's crazy. Already off to a crazy start. Hold on. Trump 10 can ways. survive prison. Number one, plan your first day. Get to know the lay of the land. Who's in charge? How many whites there are? Who has the biggest horse cock? Remember, in prison, size matters. Next, you're going to want to mark your territory. Going to get Mexico to build a wall, but maybe you can negotiate for top bunk. After that, it's time to learn the unspoken rules, like who controls the TV remote, how to get contraband, when's the best time to fap, don't want to whip out your carrot with horses nearby, and whatever you do, don't borrow anything. See a Snickers on your bed, leave it. A tasty treat means someone wants your meat. Number two. <laughs> a t that's a bar. A tasty treat means somebody wants your meat. That's correct. That is crazy. And the crazy thing is, he is not lying. Cause think about it. Ain't no way you just see like a snicker like a Snickers bar and such. You'd be like, who put that there? <laughs> yeah, cause ain't no way that's I'm just saying look, I ain't not gonna ever wanna become going in prison, but I know for a damn fact. Not saying well no, but I'm pretty sure that you should never try to leave something to if anyhow you see something that is way too suspicious, like a freaking snicker bars or so, like candy leaved on the bed for you, hide your cheeks. You think it's just in the shower they gon' you and such? Nah. Whatever that is and such, just for me, just brush it off and go back to bed. Simple as that. Anything. See a Snickers on your bed, leave it. A tasty treat means someone wants your meat. Number two, join a gang. Face it, most people in prison are minorities, and you've got a good track record with them. So if you want to keep that starfish tight, then you're going to need some help. Going against the Mexicans, the African American. The way how he says black people is just the African American. The African -American. Most people in prison are minorities, and you've got a great track record with them. So if you want to keep that starfish tight, then you're going to need some help at night. But you're in luck, because one flash in the mag attack, and them skins be on your back. It's like their insult dog whistle. Sir? Then once you have help... <laughs> Sir? You know what, let me not... The mag attack, and them skins be on your back. It's like their insult dog... Them... One splash up. Hey, he barring, I ain't going cap at night. But you're in luck, cause one flash in the mag attack and them skins be on your back. It's like your insult hmm. dog whistle. So then once you have help, it's time to find a scapegoat. Could be blacks, Muslims, ugly women, but I recommend the tried and true border crossers. Time to build a wall between them and basic human rights. Sorry, Pedro, this is my cell now. Me amo Jesus. Whatever. String them up. Four, four, four. 
Four for four. Plus, once they see who the big dog is, they'll come begging. Which is perfect, because you're going to need intel. And who's better to get it from than a sleeper khaki? Number three, start working out. Now, based off your centaur-shaped body, I know going to the gym is going to seem like a weird concept, but it's crucial if you want to survive. But what? Hey, that's a fact. Hey, one thing, and one thing's for sure. They don't give a fuck if you ain't seen. Maybe not. Nah, if you're in person and you see how many big niggas are in there, you better start working the F out if you want to survive. Because <laughs> I guarantee you, if you don't, one thing's for sure. If I, look, God forbid I do it, but if anyhow I'm in prison, I'm making sure I'm, what the rocks, what Dwayne the Rock Johnson say, you're clanging in, well, not banging, but banging on the sets and such, like the rep sets, but clanging and banging. Because you don't want them banging you. <laughs> what can you do at, holy sh 78 years old? <laughs> Let's start with getting up. Slap it, take a pill, find a buddy, whatever it takes, just get out of bed, Gramps. Then there are plenty of ways to get that heart rate up. There's human snake, rocking in sadness, and of course, golf. Sure, it's no 18 hole, but if this experience taught you anything, is you just need one hole. And guess who always wins? That's right, little Donnie. If your roommate can't accept the results from your election, they might get deported. Now, what's to stop you from asking for a room alone? One word, validation. What's the point of being awesome at everything if someone doesn't praise you for it? Businesses, elections, cheating on your pregnant wife, no one's better than you. Besides, you could use... Not Milani. And you know what's so crazy about this? She don't even like his ass. Crazy enough. I mean, do you... S I remember that one little video where Trump going for her hand and she just slapped that bitch away. <laughs> Saying like, nigga, I only married you because I wanted to get pampers. <laughs> That's literally what she, Business I elections, you, that's what she cheating said. on your pregnant wife. No one's better than you. Besides, you could use a spotter. Someone to lend a hand. Someone to help you push harder. Someone to help you from going soft. Number four, mm -hmm. always fight back. In prison, that's... showing any sign of weakness is like ringing the dinner bell for predators. Fresh meat over here. So if someone's coming for your rear, then push away the tears and call him a queer. Don't let him go gentle into your dark night. Fight back. Aim for his eyes, his throat, his grandmother's Medicaid. Whatever will hurt him most. Remember, right, it's damn. not about winning. It's about sending a message. You need to let everyone know that this Cheeto is extra spicy. But <laughs> considering you're 78 years old, it's gonna be hard to clench those cheeks. So if you ever backed into a corner, then just call the guy a diddler. No one likes diddler. <laughs> yeah. There's in prison, you're only convicted of sexually abusing a woman. <laughs> no one cares about them. Now, if that. Do hey. His name says it all. He can try off. He's trying to offend everybody. But one thing I like about it, he just don't go at one person. That's why I like it with him. He goes at every single one. <laughs> and he finds creative ways how to be extra dark with it. <laughs> and I'm not going to cap. I might get <laughs> in a way. Let's be honest. You know what? I'm saving all. Sh I'm not even trying to say nothing. I'm letting him say it all. Those cheeks. So if you ever backed into a corner, then just call the guy a diddler. No one likes diddlers in prison. You're only convicted That's of sexually abusing a woman. <laughs> No one cares about them. Now, if that doesn't work and you start to feel Tyrone's cold hands on your soft hips, then it's time to close your eyes and pretend it's another stormy night. Number five, don't drop the soap. Showering. Ooh, Stormy Daniels. <laughs> pretend it's another stormy night. Stormy Daniels. It's gonna be tough, considering your base position. Pretend it's another stormy night. Number five, don't drop the soap. Showering's gonna be. Ooh, that should be number one. Fuck you, me, number five. That should be number one. That's for anybody. Then that's the number one rule to never do in prison. Be tough, considering your base position is standing doggy. And how are you gonna hold on to soap with those tiny hands? Well, that's where your business plan <laughs> yes, comes yes, yes, Imagine I... Trump's soap. Same soap, except 30% smaller. That way you boost your revenue and give your toddler fingers something to grip. Best of all, you control the supply. Gonna be hard to get into your Hershey Highway without a golden ticket. So if you want to clean your balls, then give Trump a call. Let everyone know you're the one that governs basic human rights. Sorry, Jamal, fresh out. Why don't you use those tears to wipe away that ash? Number six, find a hobby. Normally you spend the day hate tweeting, but there's no phones in prison. Now sure, you could 
scribble some nonsense on toilet paper, but Donnie on, wants to make no! So how about this? How about a new reality show called Orange is the New Trump, where each week inmates face new challenges. Cage fighting, finger painting, beauty pageants, all to win a VIP pass to your dressing room. Now the real entertainment begins. Because if they want to earn that top inmate sash, then they gotta prove their loyalty. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to win? <laughs> yes. Good. Now sign this NDA. Number seven, bribe guards. Most people in law enforcement tend to be concerned. Sorry. I mean, he ain't. Hey, so far, hold on, let me see. So far, we have 338. So far, the ones I agree with so far are the don't drop the soap one, of course. And I don't know about him trying to join the game because the man is 78, so I doubt that he's going to ever do that. But if obviously don't drop the soap and possibly start clean weight lift lifting weights because I guarantee you oh no don't drop the soap and try to fight back because trust me I don't care if you're 26 if you're 28 or 78 you don't want a motherfucker coming into your cell and start wanna use you like a sex doll so if you know what's good for you you fight back I know I would. Shit. I ain't not letting no mother... Mm. Boy. You crazy if you think you doing that to me. Hm. Stab you. Take a freaking pen and stab your ass. Good. Now sign this NDA. Number seven, bribe okay. guards. Most okay. people in law enforcement tend to be conservative, meaning they're easy to manipulate. So start the negotiation nice. low, offering an IOU or my family to take care of the bill. Don't worry, Eric's tremendous with that stuff. Don't you mean Eric? Whatever, the one who doesn't f goats. If that doesn't work, then start sending out anonymous Trump high tops, possibly on their kid's birthday. Wow, what a great day I made you look like. Those shoes are limited edition, but the love you received was eternal. So how about you sprinkle some love my way and give me alone time with my tight attorney? Yeah, I switch attorneys a Lot. I'm a busy man. Now, if shoes or favors don't work, then you're part of the deep state? What? Oh, I knew they put one of you in here to spy on me. Sir, that's not. Does your family know? Did you brainwash them too? Oh, Maga no like sheep. Number eight, snitches get stitches. You're used to Thanks. running your mouth on Twitter, but airing dirty laundry in prison is the quickest way to turn to Swiss cheese. So if you yeah. want to leave with the same amount of holes you. It's so crazy. That's. The... I feel like those are the two, pe two types of people when you go into jail or so that you would hate. A child, a child predator, and a snitch. But for me personally, not to say I'm never going to be in a situation like that, but if I were to be called one thing, if I'm going to be called one thing, I'm definitely be calling, let's be, let's straight up be honest. Which one, which one is like the lesser of the evil? Being called a snitch or being called a deadler? Hmm? One People are never going to want to be associated with you no more. That's okay. The other one, people are going to kill you for it. Knowing that you was around kids. You tell me which one is more. Less of the evil. What, less of the bad, huh? You tell me which one is more less of the bad. I'll be, if I'm going to be called anything, I'll be called a snitch before I be called a child predator. That's for damn sure. And I know damn well y'all want to. And I know damn well y'all saying the two. Let me know in the comments below. If y'all saying, it's basically like this. If you know you want, you would rather be called a snitch than a predator, leave a like on this video right now. Because I know damn well I ain't. <laughs> You're not gonna call me no predator. Does your family know? Did you brainwash them too? Oh, Maga no like sheep. Number eight, snitches get stitches. You're used to running your mouth on Twitter, but airing dirty laundry in prison is the quickest way to turn to Swiss cheese. So if you want to leave with the same amount of holes you came in with, you're gonna need to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Kidding, of course. If you had any self-control, you wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. No. Max. What you really need to do is figure out who you can throw under the bus. I'm talking about drug addicts, diddlers, darkies, and damn. Wait, wait, why? Hey, whoa, why? Whoa, whoa. Hey, <laughs> hey. What you mean by that, nigga? First of all, do is on. figure out who you can throw under the bus. I'm talking about drug Drugies. addicts, diddlers. Why you have her? I mean, you should have had. You should have had Diddy on that. You should have had Diddy as the second picture, cause Diddy the Diddler. You should have darkies. Put Anyone that claims they were a victim. You see, the best way to remain unfiltered is to divide and conquer. Sure, I talk trash, but Jamal is the one stealing soap. Wait, what? 
It won't be hard to convince the guards. Like I mentioned earlier, they're idiots. You're gonna tell me sitting in a chair for four hours as you watch a predator play Yahtzee was a good career choice? <laughs> Yeah, okay. Have fun babysitting monsters. Number nine, preach the gospel. Now, sure, you represent every deadly sin, but who cares? It's not like the guy who blew up a nursery is getting in anyway. So start offering salvation for the low price of $69.99. Think about it. Page one, beautiful portrait of you and Jesus. Mostly you, though. Jesus is in the background, if anything. And to make it more relatable, each section has footnotes to represent your code of ethics. Thou shall not cover thy neighbor's wife, unless she's a ten. Man shall not lie with another man, but women are on the table. The love of money is the root of all evil. I'm sorry, does it hurt to be poor? Remember, it won't be hard to convince a high school dropout that a snake can talk. Don't they need lips? Do you want to burn for eternity? No? Then how about you start healing with your wallet? Number ten, prison riot. If all else fails, then it's rally time. Antifa, Mexicans, G Hey. That is, that's gonna be the time where you really gotta fight back. Cause if, 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 cause that's the time where if anyhow a guy's gonna start mm -mm you and such, and if that's not gonna happen, definitely for the prison rights, you definitely need to start fighting back. Cause you don't wanna get, if you rather be, I rather be left with punches and such, like bumps and bruises, than freaking scars on me. That's for damn sure. I ain't trying to get sad. If all else fails, then it's rally time. Antifa, Mexicans, gender fluid. Are we gonna let them take this prison? Hell no. They're treating us like animals. We want our cigarettes. We want our ramen. We want our Charmin toilet paper. We gotta fight for our freedom. We gotta fight for America. We gotta let these radical guards know I was born a man. Born a man. Born a man. Born a man. Then, just as conflict is about to erupt, you meet with a warden and negotiate a deal. A deal that helps out the only person you care about. That's right. The big so. But what about the inmates and all those promises you made? <laughs> Well, you see, that's the beauty in all of this. Because despite the blatant betrayal, they'll support you no matter what. Admitting they were deceived would be admitting their own gullibility. So by denying the truth, they protect their ego from the painful realization that they were misled. You see, their loyalty isn't just to you, but to their own pride. And that's how you keep them in line. Because you're more than just their leader. You're their savior. So watch as they get on their knees, ready to swallow your gospel. So those are 10 ways Trump can survive prison. And Don, if you're watching this, I just want to let you know, don't let the haters win. You stood up to every challenge and succeeded. Well, except your university airline vodka stakes casino and so far of a criminal trial. But life isn't about how smart you are. It's about your ability to overcome obstacles. Polls, laws, women saying no. You haven't let anything hold you back. Besides, when you think about it, you got what you always wanted. Ratings. Because who isn't going to tune into your cell block drama? MAGA's looking for barking orders, and Libs are looking to stroke that boner. Now, all you have to decide is which network gets the privilege of broadcasting your... The fake news <laughs> is fake news. You're looking to stroke that boner. Now, all you have to decide is which okay. network gets the privilege of broadcasting your tirades. Hmm. Imagine giving Fox exclusive rights to your hateful ramblings, forcing other networks to watch and report on it later, thus keeping their ratings low and your sky high. The highest we've ever seen. You're like an angel that commands attention. Give me your envy! 34 felonies, well, congrats on finally winning the popular vote. Trump 2024, well, damn, in prison. Hey, amigo, you know what you drink could use? Some ice. Donald Trump's favorite nation is discrimination. This just in, Trump just won the state of denial. My son was beat up for being a Trump supporter, and I would do it again. You know what Trump says before smashing? You remind me of my daughter. Again, your brain can't handle losing. And it was kind of weird of him when he says his daughter is hot. Why would you even? <laughs> he would be the type of. I mean, for goodness sakes, if he was saying that for his daughter. Ugh. You know what Trump says before smashing? You remind me of my daughter. Again, your brain can't handle losing, so it developed a coping mechanism called winning, where no matter the ratings, vote count, or facts, you won. Congrats on being just the coolest person. Prison is a lot like laundry, where you never mix whites with the coloreds. Mm, you know That's, a That's a bar. That's a bar. Hey, he's been barring throughout this entire thing. Like, bro, I gotta give him a like on such, but nah. The man has been barring throughout this entire thing and such. But hey, man, shout out to offending everybody. <laughs> Did it. Hey, all I can say is, Trump, you better, you have better pay attention. Because, nigga, if you, if anyhow you don't follow these shits that he's saying, and you're 78, you dead meat, nigga. But hey, man, <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. 
and like I said leave a like on this video if you would rather be a snitch than a predator cause I guarantee you for me cause I'm not saying I don't want to be none of them but if I had to choose the lesser of the evil obviously the snitch I rather be I rather be known as the snitch than be known as the predator cause at least with the snitch yeah I get it people are not gonna wanna trust me with certain shit and such or don't wanna trust me on doing any mission or whatnot. I'm cool with that I would be totally cool with that because if I went to prison and then and you know what they do to motherfuckers who been on whose charges are on some child shit on some hurting childs hurt on some minor shit and such <laughs> let's just say if you don't start paying up for your certain concubine was it contraband sorry concubine is crazy but if you don't start paying up for certain contraband and such <laughs> You think your booty going to be taken? Nah. One way or another, they're going to take something of you. <laughs> and let's just say, you you, you dead meat. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy, Homo Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. I'm out.